in today's class i'll discuss fractions with you number one without using mathematical tables or calculators simplify this problem you have here that is they don't want you to use your four figure tables and they don't want you to use your calculators to do that if you want to simplify this you apply both mass for the order of the operations the operations there are the signs the 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 division subtraction sign and the addition sign those signs there are the operations and these are the orders we do them bracket first after that of after that division multiplication we follow addition and subtraction so if i want to solve this problem i'll start with the bracket you bring what is in the bracket out and solve it and now five whole number one over three minus two number three over five you change each to improper fraction to change 5 over number 1 over 3 to improper fraction, you use 3 to multiply 5, which will be 15, plus 1. Do now this, it will be 16 over 3. That's why you have here your sign. 2 number 3 over 4 will give you 4 times 2, which is 8, plus 3, which is 11 over 4. That's what you have here. After that, you look for the SM of your denominators, 3 and 4. To get SM of 3 and 4, uh, you look for them. I know some of you might have forgotten how to get SM of 3 and 4. This is what you do. You look for a number that will divide one of them. Two, since it can't go, you write three. Here we have two. Two, you can't go, you write three. Here you have one. 3, then you have 1, 1. When it's SEM, you end with 1, 1. Then you multiply the numbers here. So that the SEM will be 2 times 2 times 3, which is 12. So the SEM of 3 and 4 is 12. After that, you say 3 will divide 12 to give 4. 4 times 16, that's 64. Your sign. 4 will divide 12 to give 3. 3 times 11 will give 33. 64 minus 33 is 31 over 12. That is for what you have in the bracket. Then after that, division will follow. So you say 3 number 4 over 9 divided by the result we got after simplifying this, which is 31 over 12. Then you turn this to improper fraction to give 9 times 3 which is 27 plus 4 that is that 1 over 9 divided by that 1 over 12 when you have division sign like this you change it to multiplication sign and reciprocate the fraction to its right so we we'll have that 1 over 9 change it to multiplication sign Reciprocated 1 over 12 to become 12 over 31. That one will cancel 31. 3 here, 3. 3 and 12, 4. Is a top number times top number, which is 4. Bottom number times bottom number, which is 3. And that will give us 4 over 3. Thereafter, you will now come to your addition. Remember, all this you solved, and they will come first. That's why this result will come first, which is 4 over 3, plus 5 over number, 9 over 10. You change 5 over number, 9 over 10, to improper fraction, to have 59 over 10. SM of 3 and 10, do it like this one. It will be 30. 3 and 30 is 10, times 4, 40, plus 10 and 30 which is 3 times 59, which is 177. 
177 plus 40 is 217 over 30. 30 we divide 217 7 times. That is 210. We remove 210 from this. You are left with 7 over 30. Number 2, you are to simplify without using tables also. What you have here. Now, following your order, your order of operation, you work on a bracket for the numerator. Bring out the fractions in the bracket you have here. Turn each of them to improper fraction. This will become 27 over 8. You say 8 times 3 plus 3 plus this will become 13 over 8. That's 8 times 1 plus 5. SM of 8 and 8 is 8. 8 in 8, 1 times 27, 27. 8 in 8, 1 times 13, 13. 27 plus 13 is 40 over 8. 40 over 8 is 5. That is what this will give you in the bracket. Then take out your numerator. It will now be 3 over 4 times your answer in the bracket times 5. And 5 is 5 over 1. So you say 3 times 5, which is 15, 4 times 1, which is 4. Then for your denominator, you turn it to improper fraction. To have 17 over 8 minus 3 over 2. SM of 8 and 2 is 8. 8 in 8 is 1 times 17, 17. 2 in 8 is 4 times 3, that is 12. 17 minus 12 is 5, then you have over 8. Now, you now come back to see your numerator via your denominator. Our numerator gives 15 over 4. Our denominator gives 5 over 8. So you say over 5 over 8, which is the same as this. Then change this division sign to multiplication sign. Then this 5 over 8 will be turned to 8 over 5. Now 4 will divide it 2 times. 5 will divide 15 3 times. 3 times 2 over 1 is 6. And that's how you simplify that. I solved about 5 questions here. Well, let me bring you to this one. Now you have to simplify this. Other of your operations. If we had the first operation that we consider this multiplication sign, so you work on this, bring it out, turn this to improper fraction, it becomes 7 over 3 times 3 over 4. This will cancel this, then you are left with 7 over 4. Then when you have addition, subtraction, you can do them simultaneously. That's why. I wrote addition and subtraction. I can go ahead. There will be no problem. This plus this will give you 7 over 4 minus 1 over 2. Turn this to improper fraction to have 3 over 2. SM of 2, 4, 2 is 4. 2 in this is 2 times 3 is 6. Your sign. 4 in this is 1 times 7 is 7. Your sign. 2 in 4 is 2 times 1 2 6 plus 7 minus 2 is 11 over 4 which when you change to improper fraction it will give you 2 number 4 will divide 11 2 times remaining 3 over 4 now look at this you have to find this question you have to find the fraction which is greater amongst the two of them the simple thing you do is to express each of them as decimal fraction now 7 over 13 we give express to four decimal places when you press your calculator you have 0 0.5385 similarly 8 over 15 is 0 0.53333 using your calculator then with that open your eyes you discover that this one is greater than this and the owner for this is 7 over 13, and that is the greater fraction.